have to work through channels. Use the face to a new Facebook comment. They also need data visualization. The channels are and they can also because they cannot they have so many good ideas, they cannot choose between their great ideas. It's not a problem. The last hack days I went to, it was the last week in Vienna, and the winning team at five in the afternoon, they were still hesitating between two projects, and they pitched project A. At the end, they've chosen to work on project B, and they, they won with project B. So you have all the night, relax, it's fine. And so everyone is going to pitch for one minute. And then after, also all, everyone can ask a question to the teams and can, uh, can offer help if they want to. OK? Um, Should we go with DJ's first? Why? Why? Uh, we have some sli uh, slides. How long? Do we have to have or do you want to? Yeah, yeah. Can you bring up the left? <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
I'm, I'm Jeff uh, from EJ Insight. Uh, we want to use, use you a uh, new platform, uh, dynamic business news Q and A platform. What is it about? It's a combination of journalists, ex experts, and designers. Gen so usually journalists face two problems: they need expert comments and also data visualization. And uh, through our apps, journalists can ask a question, like how will Bernie be performed next year? And the financial expert can give uh, uh, comments through a video uploading to our apps. And also we can introduce some designers all over the world uh, to uh, give us some innovative video. Like uh, we can also through the apps uh, to talk to them our requirements. So this is the app. So any questions? Any questions? So, so the final product will include the work from experts, uh, the journalists, and also the uh, designers from all over the world. So do the experts need to also install the app for the phone? Yes, yes. And they need to have a, a in-house video pro to focus uh, to, to take video on them so that they can upload the video to the to our website. Can I can I suggest that we take our own video and send you? Sure, sure. Uh, but we suggest them to to put more budget to these videos. But actually they have they have spent a lot of uh, budget to do this kind of video because they want to promote their brand. They want to sell their knowledge. And where would the, where would the content this come from? Uh, the content will uh, actually uh, from the user point of view. The user will every day they open the app, they will see a lot of questions each by each. How, for example, how relevant will perform next year? How uh, the European market will perform? And they click into the questions and. The related video will show in the show. Like a video forum. Yes, yes. A full cool, cool video to we'll answer that question. Yeah. The categories? Um, the category, um, category will be done by the questions. So if you want to be, uh, you, you want to watch more video about Renan B, you click into questions about Renan B and then it will show. So the categorization is more like uh, by the by the questions. Is it searchable? Searchable, uh, yes. Keywords like uh, if you type in relevantly two or one six, and then it will give you a list of questions related to these these two keywords, and click into the questions which it will show you the video. What makes that journalism centric? Why could I say a property development is a journalism? Uh, 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 any other industry use the app? Uh, uh, I mean, um, you, you mean uh, why, why do they need this app? I know. What uh, makes this app uh, essential so, for so, journalists? Okay. Journalists, are they interested to use it? Yes, yes, yes. This is a little bit uh, different from uh, traditional media. If I am a uh, media company, I want to make build, build up an app. I ask some questions. Of what is the uh, performance of Renovi next year? And I ask our uh, reporter to do all kind of research. Ask our own designer to do visualization. It may not be so. Uh, and uh, effective. So we put the questions to public, to public and everybody can contribute. The outside can contribute. Great. Great. Thanks. Can you give yeah. yeah.
uh, understand the programming task. So, like, how do you uh, make that content? Is it like, is it generated content, or is it like, is the content? Oh, the content may be uh, from many sources. We use UGC videos from YouTube. And we can download some videos from CCTV, PTV, the uh, PTC. Can, can you give, give us some suggestions? Only PG. <laughs> uh, yes. We want to because we live in Beijing. We can have more more information. Yeah.
uh, 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 so yeah. So Alcubre is the project quantum converter. Basically, we turn any news article uh, into a video. So the problem is like this. Uh, although now we have news articles, text plus images, users still prefer videos, uh, right? Like the English and the right. So the problem is how to generate videos in a very efficient manner. And our solution is uh, very simple. We can go to the next page. Uh, very firstly, this is uh, the mockup. Uh, you just input the URL to our uh, site, and we can scrape all the text and the images, and we can do some automatic voiceover. Uh, and, uh, and after the automatic voiceover, we just uh, generate the video directly. So that's what you can see there. Uh, but basically, that's a solution. Then, uh, any questions? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, you, you have you, you can do it this way by the help from the editors. For, for example, we can provide this service to the newsroom and uh, for those uh, news with both images and text, those editors can actually edit use our service. And uh, uh, only those news website with this kind of service and with those articles that has been edited with this. I, I think this is quite a, quite more efficient than just uh, doing videos from from very beginning. Yeah. yeah so we are talking about business model, right? So for, for free users, we read out the whole article, but for paid users, we can give you any the version. Okay. Any other questions? Then thank you. So we we'll move to the next one. Thank 
there you are. So, so the user first, what would they see first, the transcript first? Um, actually, we'll see a video first. Uh, we might find mm -hmm. yeah, from the beginning, they'll see a video on the website, and then uh, they can scroll down to see the transcript, and then once they see something interests them, they can click on the uh, link to the video, so that it will, it will automatically jump to the video, the, the click of the video that you want to watch. Okay, so maybe you can you can um
Stood there so high up. Yeah, one, two, three, go. All right, um, good night, everybody. Um, here, who doesn't know how to use a spreadsheet? You all know, right? So we are trying to solve a real problem in our newsrooms as well as many other newsrooms I believe. Journalists are too busy. If you want journalists to produce video, the journalists who are not video journalists, they find it very hard to learn how to edit video. So we create a tool that allows them to use Google Spreadsheet to edit and annotate video news. And the editor can go in and edit a copy. And every time when you change the subtitle to capture anything in the video, you don't have to re-render the video. So things become quicker, things can become faster and more agile and more collaborative because you can share the Google Docs with many people. So that's our product. Uh, the name is called GS Video Editor, Google Spreadsheet Video Editor. So you have the Google Spreadsheet, you put in your subtitle, your caption, your company logo, and everything you can see on the preview screen. The, the subtitle, the caption. Text, yeah, it's for quick videos. For journalists, they do their story. Let's say you're a journalist, you want to do a story, you have one, we have a five second video in the story. Are you going to call up your video department to ask for a five second video? You won't have to, right? Yeah. So using this spreadsheet, you can just put in any subtitle and caption that you want, and you will get an embed code and then embed it in your sales, and you get a video. Sorry, okay. What tablet? Yeah, so you have a tablet. You just have to key in the font size, the font type, the position, everything is preset. So you can have one team, you can have two teams, or then three teams, you can select a team, you know, and then you just put in a, the text and you will appear in your video. And every time you want to change the subtitle, you just change the Google spreadsheet. You don't have to go, you don't have to open your Final Cut Pro or your Adobe Premiere and edit it and re-render it. There's no rendering in the whole process. You key in whatever you key in, you see it straight away. And you get it a bit code, you embed it. So we publish in four languages. So let's say you want to have the video subtitle in English, you have to have it in Chinese. You just have to change the Google spreadsheet and you will get the Chinese subtitle. You don't have to re-render the video. Again. Thank you. Hello everyone, our airline is interactive with video in groups. You can decide with whom you go to senior, but you cannot decide with whom you watch a video. So our project is to uh, invite you into a groups that you like, with new kids, uh, maybe some more masters, degrees who get uh, this kind of people we are educated and maybe you will choose to watch a video with them. So we will help you to get into different groups and there's a stage manager to decide, to decide what will you see or what will you, uh, what kind of problems you will see when you are watching a video. And that's our project. And the second, we will uh, help you to add more interactive, you, you could have more interactive behaviors on your uh, video, uh, like you could add your comments in audio and video ways. That's what thank you. Any questions? No. 
group is physical or in a, in a online? So the group is physical or online? Online, online. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you are just like a stage manager. Wait, uh, stage manager. And if you are a stage manager, you can decide uh, who could get this stage. Maybe someone who uh, particularly like or, uh, or some group that you will choose. Yeah. So you could get into the same stage and maybe you could see uh, the same video and you could add your comments just uh, from this group. So it is that you decide with whom you will watch the video with, uh, with whom you will watch the video online. Sound like it's a nice feature, but what are the problems you're trying to solve? What are the problems you're trying to solve? Um, you know, who are your audience um, and what problem they have? So the product can help them to solve the problem. Uh, just like if you fall in love with someone who is far away from a location or another city, and you want to share the same video. Maybe it will be like something like that, and you want to communicate along with the, um, the video going, not just a, uh, not just after you are watching. So you just talk, 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 and uh, that's love. So <laughs> just, it's just it's just a simple. Uh, it's a simple example. So maybe you could have another story from our platform. Uh, problem, yeah, um, <laughs> no, I, mean, I, mean, oh, I didn't hear that, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> thank you, thank you, is there any other questions? Okay, so uh, 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 thank you. Well, great, very exciting ideas, I would say. Uh, I think we have uh, well-deserved food here, right? Uh, and uh, I feel time doesn't close tonight. Let's give it half an hour, 40 minutes. Uh, yeah. Okay. We, we, we wrap up by 8. We want everyone to go by 8. Yeah. Perfect. So let's stop working for a couple of minutes. Yep, we've got drinks and some food over there, so guys, take a break. You did a good job today. All right, let's go.